Anthony Simons was the reason they traded C.J. McCollum. Of course, it was a multitude of different reasons why. We're going to get all into it. But what really was a definitive factor, you know, was Anthony Simons' emergence. You know, um, and I'm telling you, um, him and Damian Lillard is going to electrify out there out west. You know, uh, we all know what happened with Portland this year. Shout out to Rip City. Salute to my man, Zen Master. Shout out my man, FYF Sports Debates. Y'all go check all these guys out. You know, um, these guys uh, are true Blazer fans, you know. Uh, but, you know, uh, just like I said, me as an outside looking in, you know, um, I definitely want to uh, give my take. Here at Flight Sports, we will have a lot of Blazer, you know, um, news. We will have a Portland trip. We already have a Blazer presence, but we're going to up the presence headed into the season, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, we will be documenting the Blazers because the Blazers are a retooled roster. You know, um, I like what I'm seeing from Portland. You know, they they, they done added some pieces that, that's a little bit scary, to say the least. Uh, we're going to get all into that tonight, uh, today as well. Uh, I, I want to discuss right now C.J. McCollum. The man played nine seasons, you know, up there in Portland. You know, him with Dane, you know, uh, like I said, it just seemed like they was just running on treadmill. When I say running on treadmill, it's me like they going nowhere fast. You know, and that's, that's what, what I seen what was happening with uh, the Portland Trailblazers under C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard. They was literally going on treadmill. You know, uh, they have to be very careful. You know, um, and I and I I knew it was only a matter of time before they pulled the trigger on this. You know, um, I didn't know that it was going to happen the way it did. But new coach Chauncey Billups, I, I, I mean, we don't know the truth or, or the matter of the situation. But I just think that Chauncey Billups and CJ just was not feeling each other. You know, um, number one is Dame, he never got a chance to uh, coach Dame, but Dame is giving Chauncey, you know, uh, the full autonomy. I, I, I think so. I think uh, Dame is about to give Chauncey a shot, you know. Um, but the thing is, CJ, on the other hand, um, I just feel like, you know, they, you got Dame and CJ both feeling like they can do whatever they want, you know, uh, take command over the offense. You really don't need two guys doing that, especially when you got, you know, some youth around you, you know, and the Anthony Simons of the world and the other pieces that they have on this roster, you know. Um, but as I'm taking a double look here, you know, the Portland Trailblazers is quietly loaded, you know, bringing in an MVP caliber player and Damian Lillard back. You know, the Portland Trailblazers are going to be extremely formidable. You know, uh, C.J. McCollum, you know, in his first two seasons, he only averaged five points. I mean, you know, we got, we got, we got, he averaged five points, six points. But that third year, he took that jump. Nobody's seen this from C.J. I'm going to keep it 100. During that draft, I think the year he was drafted, nobody's seen C.J. coming out and being the guy that, that we envisioned. You know, uh, he just just busted out from averaging literally six points to the next year going straight to 20. The man averaged five points his first year, six points his second and third year. He jumped all the way to 20. The man had a 14 point increase within a year. This is the type of explosive player that this guy CJ McCollum is. You know he's averaging 24 points, averaging nearly 50, shooting 50% from the field right now, uh, what he did for New Orleans. The man literally dragged New Orleans to the postseason. He made, I ain't gonna say dragged them because uh, Brandon Ingram and the crew did it. I don't want to discredit New Orleans, but CJ stamped them. You know, he made sure, yo, listen, you know, not only are we gonna, we gonna get to the playoffs, but we gonna be a scary, scary threat for whoever the hell we facing and boy what a you know because when they face phoenix they almost knock their ass off you know anthony simons is the truth you know um the man is averaging 17 points per game this season you know shooting 44 percent from the field two rebounds three assists shooting 40 percent from the three-point line where i'm where i'm headed with this is 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 simons a better player than cj mccullum right now i would say no you know, I think that C.J. McCollum just knows just a little bit, you know, a little bit is a lot, a little more advanced than Anthony Simons is today, you know. Um, but I believe that Anthony Simons has more upside than C.J. McCollum. You know, obviously, Simons is young. C.J., I mean, he ain't going to get any any different than what he is right now. You know, he's an explosive score. You know what you're getting from C.J., 
you know, which is not bad. You understand? That's why you've seen people moving heaven on earth to trade for him because they know what CJ McCollum brings, you know, but, you know, Simons, on the other hand, I think could go to a 30 point game score. I think he's got all star capabilities in him, you know, um, and it's just a different, fresh look, you know, Dame and CJ. I mean, come on, it ran its course. You know, give it, give, give them credit. They got to the conference finals and they lost to the Golden State Warriors, the big four Golden State Warriors. Give them credit. You know, they did something. They, they did a lot of special things in Portland, but they just could not get over that hump and really do, do what really matters. But I mean, what are you going to do? Kill them? You know, um, just like I said, they did the best they could. They always was formidable in the West and the wild, wild West. You know, Simons, he got some big shoes to fill, you know, because CJ was that guy. But I like what Simons was able to get when uh, Damian Lillard, you know, was hurt. Simons was literally able to, to really take command of that offense. So I think that's going to bowl well headed into him, you know, headed into this next season. You know, but, but a quick rundown on the Blazers. The bottom line is you got, to me personally, I think they got a quiet big three here. And, and slightly, you got to watch out for Nurkic. He's the wild card. You got Damian Lillard, Anthony Simons, and you got uh, Jeremy Grant. I'm not the highest on Grant, you know, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. The man is averaging 19 points per game, shooting 42% from the field and 35% from the three. You know, uh, so we got to we got to put that into consideration as well. You know, he had an all star campaign, you know, um, back in 2020, he averaged 22 points. You know, um, he, he was brought into Detroit to be the man. We all know how that went. I expect Jeremy Grant to really explode next to these guys, these all world scorers. You know, I like the move with Joe Ingles. I mean, seriously, I think that, yo. Watch out for Portland. They got Gary Payton Jr., you know, um, and I love Josh Hart. You know, we all know what Josh Hart brings to the table. Um, Portland will be a playoff team. You know, you could book that. You know, um, I don't see no reason why they wouldn't be a postseason team. You know, uh, they have all of the capabilities to be a playoff team. So I don't see a situation where they miss the playoffs. No, not at all. Not not Portland. You know, last year was a drag. You know, that was just a, a transitional year, you know, due to the fact of, you know, the new coach, Chauncey Billups, you know, um, coming in. They were just figuring out their way. You know, this year, I think they're going to they're going to stamp it. You know, Damian Lillard coming back. This game just signed for the big bag. They just read up Anthony Simons, you know, on something crazy. So they all got motivation to go out and ball. You know, that's why uh, I believe the Portland Trailblazers will be a playoff team. You know, um, I think possibly even like a who knows, you know, I would think maybe definitely a, not a play in situation. I would think they would be somewhere in that top six just off Dame alone. You know, and Lord have mercy if he ended up in the plan. I surely wouldn't want to deal with Damian Lillard in the plan. Uh, I know that we haven't seen Damian Lillard in some time, but I know y'all ain't forget how good he is, did y'all? I'm just saying, y'all better look out. So I just want to talk about that for a second, man. Anthony Simons made C.J. McCollum dispensable, you know. They was able to get him up out of there, you know. So let's see what Simons does this upcoming season, you know, because the honeymoon is over. C.J. is in New Orleans. He will be in training camp for the Pelicans. What are you going to do? This Flight Sports TV.